Question 19. The graph of a line is shown on the grid. The coordinates of both points indicated on the graph of the line are integers. What is the rate of change of y with respect to x for this line? Okay, so what you need to understand here is rate of change. Que deben que entender aquí es rate of change. What is another word for rate of change? ¿Cuál es un otro nombre por rate of change? Slope. And what letter is slope? ¿Cuál letra es slope? M. And we have a formula for that. Tenemos una formula por este. So you're going to go ahead and take out your reference materials chart. You're going to go in the third section, el tercer sección. And this is the formula that we will do for the slope of a line. Por el slope de una línea, m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. To use this, I need two ordered pairs. Necesito dos ordered pairs. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Remember x. Y, so this is, this is X, negative 3, and Y, 5. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. So I'll put it here. Negative 3, 5, and I need one more. I will go ahead and use this one. X, Y. Okay, my X is 9, and my Y is negative 5. 9, negative 5. So to do this, to use this formula, I need to write x1, y1, x2, y2. It's always like this, x1, y1, x2, y2. Equals y2, negative 5, copy minus y1 is 5, divided by, division, x2 is 9, minus x1, negative 3. Equals... We're going to put the top in the calculator, negative 5 minus 5, negative 5 minus 5, that is negative 10. Copy your division, division, division. Now 9 minus minus 3, 9 minus minus 3, that is 12. Doce, so remember minus minus is plus, menos menos is más. So this is like 9 plus 3, es como 9 más 3, 12. Okay, now we're going to put all of it in the calculator, todo en la calculadora. So negative 10 divided by division 12. So remember that this is, this is division, es division. Okay, and you get negative 5 sixth. And this is your slope. Okay, so it looks like my answer is D. Okay, I'm going to show you another way. Quiero mostrarles una diferente manera. I'm going to show you the run and rise, the rise over run method. So M equals rise over run. So rise is up, down, vertical. Run is always right. Okay, rise is vertical. Run is para la derecha. You always start on the left. Comenzamos a la izquierda. So I'm going to start on this point. And I finish on the right. Y terminamos a la derecha. So I want to start here and finish here. Quiero comenzar aquí y terminar aquí. So I want to be here. Quiero estar aquí. So first, do I need to go up or down? Necesito ir arriba o abajo to finish here para terminar aquí. I need to go down, abajo. Let's count how many. Vamos a contar cuántos. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Down, abajo. Down is negative. Abajo is negativo. Copy, divide. Now we go to the right. Ahora a la derecha. Let's count. Vamos a contar. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12. Let's put that in the calculator. And we already have it. Ya tenemos negative 10 divided by 12, negative 5 sixth. And it's the same. Es igual. So these are two different ways to do this. Estas, aquí, aquí hay dos maneras para hacerlo. 
Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.